guys, this is Free to Buy Us with Art Supply Guy, and I'm going to do a product review and a demonstration today uh, with the Speedball pen set. And this is a plastic pen holder. It has a small little metal nib that you interchange inside. They have different sizes. Uh, some are used for art, some used for calligraphy. You get uh, different sizes of lines with the different types of nibs. And I'm also going to be using it with a small little inkwell, and I have today the Higgins Black Magic Ink. It's a nice uh, free-flowing ink. It's very dark and pigment. You can water it down and make washes with it, but today we're just going to use it concentrated, and we're going to use it with the pen. And I'm going to find out how much I like to use this type of a pen because this is a new style for me. Uh, in the past, whenever I would use pens, I've always relied on the disposable types like the Sectra and Micron uh, Pigma pens. I do like those because you can get them in the various uh, line thicknesses. They are permanent and they work really well with your wet media as well as things like uh, Prismacolor pencils. So I'm going to try out this pen and just find out how much I like it and see if it's something that I might like to use in my future drawing. So let's find out just how well it performs. let's get started. I picked up a speedball pen holder and this is a plastic uh, pen handle and you can add interchangeable nibs and the nibs are these small metal contraptions and they hold the ink. They pull up into them and there is a split in the metal and if you are to to apply some pressure down to your paper, it'll drag a wider, a much wider line as far as I've seen other people do demonstrations with. So the pen holder here is, it's, it's wider at the, um, towards the, the base where the pen is attached and it's more narrow and lightweight towards the end. So we're going to open these up and see how well they work. And along with the pen set, I picked up a package of Higgins Black Magic ink. So I've got a brand new fresh bottle of that. As you can see here, one is a little longer than the other. Okay, just going to insert it into that circular lip there. And it has a very snug fit, so you could just kind of push it down somewhat. I wouldn't want to force it too much more. It feels like it's very secure. It's not going to fall out of there. I'm just going to begin here with the larger nib and some of my ink. And I'm using a plain sheet of printer paper. So it's very lightweight paper, just for a quick uh, demonstration, just to get the feel of the tool, and it'll be something to throw away. So when you dip this in, you don't want to dip it in too deep. You want to kind of dip it in probably around where the um, opening is, and the curvature of it should help the ink pull up into it. just going to use um, my heavier weight paper. This is um, the multimedia paper that's used for um, light wash type materials so I think the ink would probably work really well on it and we're just going to kind of play around and see if we can come up with some, some stuff.
Okay, I'm going to put this drawing aside and I'm going to switch the nibs. I'm going to do a quick little uh, dip in my water here. Just wash it and I'm going to take a towel and just for the time being I'm going to wipe this down but I really think that you probably should wash these thoroughly because you really don't want the ink to start caking up on it over time causing causing them to um, not fit within the pen as well and you, you just don't want it flaking off into your artwork I just think that to take care of it it would probably be best to wash them with some soap and water and yeah, this nib here actually feels like it is still attached. Whereas this one here, it broke free. So when you press on it, it actually splits. If you can see right there, when you press down on this one, it splits. And this one here, okay, it is splitting too. All right, maybe that other one just needed to be bent a touch, but this one feels like it's holding on pretty well. So now we have the smaller one, and I believe this is the five, 512. Let's see. Yeah, this is the 512 of the Speedball Artist set. This is the smaller nib. And I'm going to work on this side of the paper with the smaller one just to kind of see if there's any real difference with it. go. That's my little bird using the, the speedball pen here. Hey, if you like what you saw here today on this product review, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button to my channel. That way you can be kept up to date on all of the latest product reviews and tutorials that I put out. I try to put something new out each week and I always like to mix things up a bit just so I can cover different types of art products and different types of tutorials. So there should be something for everyone there. And if you subscribe to our channel, you won't miss anything else that we put out. Thank you.